My story starts at Wawa after a men's league soccer game. Me and my buddy were purchasing a couple of the body armor. Uh, it's kind of a replacement Gatorade thing. I don't know if you've had it before. But we were buying a couple of these after our game to refuel. And a strange man in a cowboy hat walks up to us next in line and says, Man, I love those things. I, ta- I drink one of those after every time I donate plasma. And I don't look weak at all. I'm strong. <laughs> Easy does it, cowboy. <laughs> they are pretty good, though. But that strange cowboy uh, got my wheels turning a bit. See, I had put a pretty expensive car repair on a credit card not too long ago and could use some quick cash. So I did some calls and found out the local plasma center was doing a special for all new donors. $100 every visit for the first 10 visits. $1,000. Pretty easy. Pay off all my bills. So I made a trip down to the clinic. I was walking in. The smell is the first thing that gets you between the two entrance doors. It's a combination of cigarettes and whatever they use to clean everyone's arms. It's it's a little (laughs) off-putting. I got to the front desk, and the staff was really friendly. Not overly professional, but my kind of people. You know, nice. (laughs) No, this whole thing's kind of a joke. After uh, checking my limited and outdated uh, identity paperwork, Uh, My citizenship was confirmed, and I was sent to a tablet to answer some questions. The lady warned me it was going to be a lot of questions, probably like 60. So uh, as I was filling it out, uh, I was really happy to find out it was actually 60 questions exactly. Good employees. You really can't get that anymore. (laughs) I really appreciate that. (laughs) Gave me an end goal. But as I was um, filling out the questionnaire and they were trying to get me to confess my sexual proclivities and other nonsensical, uh, well, not nonsensical, but other things, I start to have the feeling that maybe my other donors might have lied on this questionnaire. It was an odd group of people, I don't know, a a good group of, a mix. (laughs) Plenty of tattoos and piercings. Some might be homeless. Some people come straight from work, still in their scrubs. Very interesting mix. Anyway, I passed that exam, and the next thing was the uh, physical with the doctor. So he brings me into a little office that was freezing, far too cold, very uncomfortable. Uh, Doctor comes in and (laughs) and makes a funny joke about how cold it is. So I was back in a better mood. Um, (laughs) After another rigorous amount of questions about my sexual preferences and my personal habits, I was in less of a good mood. But the doctor, a nice guy, decided, ah, oh, we'll skip some of the rest of this thing. And uh, we were back on good terms. So then the doctor proceeded to give me a quick, uh, normal physical. And he checked my heart, listened to my breaths. The next thing he asked me to was take off my shoes and socks and roll up my pant legs. So, okay. Did that. And he starts checking along my legs. And I said, oh, okay, good, good, go. I was like, were you doing what I think you were doing? The doctor says, Yes, I was. Sometimes I check for reflexes if I can sense that the person's being offended. Uh, Sad thing. Yes, it is a sad thing. Anyway, then moving on, back out to the waiting room. I'm ready to go. I'm waiting turn for them to call me up. They call me up, and I get in the bed, and they start hooking me up. And um, nice lady, we're making some small talk, and she's trying to get the needle in my arm, having a little bit of trouble. I don't know how long she'd been working there. But eventually she got me stuck. (laughs) She got me stuck, and we were off to the races. Soon enough, though, I started feeling a little clammy and sweaty and cold. And I look over at the nurse, and she looks at me and says, Are you okay? I said, No, I'm not feeling so good. Next thing you know, the walls are closing in on me. (laughs) The nurses all rush over, two or three of them, and they put ice packs on my neck and arms and try and get me, pick my feet up. And they're just saying to me, easy does it, easy does it, Tyler. And they said, okay, I guess, you know, we're going to have to unstick you. You It's not going to work today. I'm like, oh, no, really? I mean, I came this far. I already got stuck. You know, blah, 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 blah. And she goes, don't worry, you'll still get paid for this session. I said, oh, okay. (laughs) Thank you.